Keshma Kaula, new season, Etoland Pirates, Manisuka Legas in preseason. I secondly, Rush Russia last year. Morning in preseason. It's pain to be quite precise. When it is right, when it won't go good. We go right to get on a team because Manis saying I understand what you know. So I think saying saying try the right. So the the four weeks in the or five weeks every season things is ever cool. So looking at your at your stay last season, you came in and you had a few matches, but then you spent some time with the benches. Is it something that the coach uh, said? Who uh, would you, okay, you're going to play this match, you're going to sit out this match. Just take us through your, con not basically your conversation with the coach, but how it is um, lined up. Would he, is it something, or was it performance driven, or what was the story with, with that? Uh, I'm doing my issue. All I can say is that I'm going to figure out what I want to do, and I'm going to figure out what I want to do. So, I'm going to figure out what I want to do. So, I figure very like it me is a lagat. So, whatever many things is totally there, you are grateful. And uh, coach, you have been developing and I'm one niggas. I'm a, I'm a start. So, I'm going into the wrong mean the six months laying it clearly, it's clearly right. And in bonus, it would go coach you to know. I'm not a bell of me. This is a ruthless club, obviously, you see like, the big three. You can come in for six months, they can let you go. What have you done in this six months that's convinced the technical team to make you part of the squad again for the new season? I think uh, for me, when I came in here, they didn't come in to thought maybe I was going to play. I, I told myself that no. I told myself that no, I have to fight for my place. So I had to fight for my place. Then I got it, then I grabbed it. That's why I'm still here today. Are you more confident going into the new season after having a pre-season on the club? Yeah, I'm confident. Cash, I'm looking at, at, your, at your previous club. From moving from there to here, the culture difference. What is it that you found here that is telling you that, okay, I'm at a level higher or a level lower, and how has it been for you mentally ch changing from the environment in Devon and coming back home, if I may say that, and being around your family almost every day, eh, well, almost every day, and then being able to play for this club where you are now on everybody's eyes, lips, and ears? Yeah, first of all, I would say I'm a winner, so coming here at the Orlando Pirates, I felt like no. Uh, they always wanted to win. They always wanted to compete for for every cup, for every match. So, not that there's any difference between uh, Amazulu. They don't want to win. They also want to win, but I feel like maybe the environment is too different than the. So here, yeah, you see now I'm going to a Champions League, and uh, yeah, so it's obviously, I also went with Amazul, but now it's a different environment, and uh, from the group that we, like, we have here, I can see that they, they want to win and go all, all out, maybe to the finals. Mm. Yeah. You just stole my next question there, that, that you come into a club now that has always made it a mandate, sort of, to say, you guys must take us to the Champions League. The team qualified, um, you are there. Your previous learnings with Amazulu, what, how much of it that you'll be taking into your campaign with Pirates going forward? Uh, for me, I think it's, uh, it helps me a lot when, when I went to, to play the Champions League with Amazulu. And I uh, think the, we have some experienced guys. I don't know if I'm, I'm answering the right question or what. Yeah. So it's it's 
some of some of the guys they they know what what's happening in the Champions League. So I think we're gonna guide those young ones and or maybe those guys who are just new in this stage of a Champions League. Winning your first trophies last season? Sorry? Trophy lifting. Just that that feeling for you. Yeah. I mean, is it, it does it fulfill what you've always wanted? Winning things with Orlando Pirates while we're still mm. out of out of the club? Yeah, it was. Like um because I do have medal, like a medal with mm. uh, my previous team, but mm. it was, I don't know, I felt like I was over the moon when I went with Orlando Paris because it was my first trophy. Mm. And also I, I did contribute there mm. for them to reach in the, in, into the finals. Mm. Mm. Um, now, let's bring it back, Stellenbosch um, away. For you, I mean, Stellenbosch, we know it's a club, Uguti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lisa, um, they are unpredictable. They play very, very awkward football sometimes, pacey and stuff. Mentally, how are you looking at the guys and then yourself individually? What can you expect for this season? No, it's ready. We are ready, and uh, we just have to take it one game at a time. There's no, there's no pressure. Obvious pressure is there because mm. <laughs> we are playing for. For a big club, and uh, we we need to win. So, but we just have to take it one game at a time. Message to the Pirates fans. <laughs> um, I would like to say to them, they must come and support us, because the way they did last year it was unbelievable. So, we just need them to be our our thirteen player there on the field. Cash, cash. Thank you. Me bonu pongs are neat home bella. Go, man. Bagnigeza. Bagnigeza. I pass a la la pawati bamba. Hey, baby.